from Urban Art and Antiques, and we're here in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware for the 60th annual All Saints Antiques Show. Let's go in and see what we can find. This is a collection of 30 trays of antique seals that are made of wax. They were removed sometime between 1820 and 1840 off of documents by a collector. This is his original collector's identification book. These were found in England and uh, the collector tried to identify as many of the different seals as possible. There's also the original storage box, which is a plain wooden box that he stored them in. is that they, there are two kinds of artists involved in this work, the colorist and the engraver? That's right, actually there was three. There was actually the artist, the engraver, and then the colorer, the colorist. Um, the artists would actually go out on the scene and do the artistic rendering, bring it back to the engraver, which then the engraver, a separate set of skills, would actually engrave that artist's work onto the steel plate, and then that was printed, and then the third uh, person came in as the colorist and finished it. Since the colors have to man manually color, can I say this is always one of a kind? That's right, uh, and you will see a subtle difference in, in every single one of these. If you were to see another print that was printed off of the same steel plate, uh, the coloring will vary because it was all done by hand. Dawes was also the name of Donald T. and he worked as Donald T. for the Post, but he worked as Edwin Dawes under, for the Call, for Collier's magazine. And he was born in, 19, uh, in 1897. He died in 1991. This was published in December of 1944 for Collier's. So if I actually want just one to buy a poster, I can find exactly for this one, but this one is... This is the original art, artwork Great. for this magazine, for this story. We hope you enjoyed the show and the beach. See you next year at the All Saints Antique Show. Okay.